may already be a wiener. I mean, what? <laughs> We're doing hot dogs today. <laughs> We're doing hot dogs we are, today. We are, and we have some great wieners. Let's get started. Kyle Newton from Bowl and Barrel, by the way. Oh, howdy, yes. Uh, so, speaking of our wieners, we have uh, beautiful wieners from uh, Rudolph's Meat Market downtown. You okay. can see, you rarely get a hot dog like this that's strung together. That's right. kind of, you know, a little, a little, a little secret we like to do is we like to get good ingredients at Bowl and Barrel. Take a humble hot dog and really step it up a notch. Let's and do it. part of that is by getting good, good quality ingredients from local, local bakers, right? Um, local meat markets. So, how, what's your so what, technique? what we have here, you can do these on the grill or on a flat top. Here, we just did it on the flat top. Just a little bit of butter, warm them, mm -hmm. and that's all we're going to do. Now, we're going to, we're going to do a little bit of a twist in the topping, and we yeah. do a, a sprout kraut or Brussels sprout kraut. Um, oh, so what oh. we do, we take a little bit of sprout or uh, excuse me sauerkraut mm -hmm. that's drained some shaved brussels sprouts and what that does that gives it a little bit of health that element is, you're so gonna a little bit totally that's right yeah. because we have a brussels sprout in there bingo yeah. and uh and it gives a little crunch salt cayenne pepper mustard seed sugar and olive oil and just toss that and that's and that's going to be our topping for our hot dogs so will you do me a favor and will you stir yeah. that up and then Tim and I, we're gonna we're gonna do another little quick trick here. Right. Um, typically, people cut their hot dog buns on the side. Yeah. I like to cut mine right on top. Okay. And what that does, that just makes it kind of stand up a little bit better. It, oh, it makes it would, the it? it makes it easier to eat. So it sits yeah. on the plate a little bit better. So we're gonna take one of these beautiful all beef hot dogs from Rudolph's, and then we're gonna top it. We like to do at Bowl and Barrel a little bit of uh, apple sauce. With horseradish in it, and that gives it a little sweet, wow. a little spicy. You're not, you're not and jumping then, in to taste that like you were with the. Uh, no, that I love. I love both of those. <laughs> Give and me then, some hey, are we done? We look good. Yeah. So all we're gonna do now is just mm. top a little bit of that Brussels sprout kraut on top. Oh, that's pretty. And that is a beautiful looking hot dog. It's easy to make. And it will really wow your guests when you sell it. So it will serve that to them. And we should tell folks about the place. Uh, describe if you have never been to Bowling Barrel. It's so we, stop fun. we like to consider it a restaurant and bar with bowling as opposed to a bowling alley that serves food. So right. we put a lot of emphasis okay. on the on the food and the beverage and the service, and then you get to have a good time. With and I've heard you have one friends. or two big screen TVs there. A few, yeah. a few, <laughs> fifteen or fifteen or eighteen, something like that. <laughs> but who's counting? That's right. <laughs> and what's your location again? Uh, we're right by uh, North Park Mall, the Shops Park Lane. Excellent. This is going to be good. It's really cool. Summertime treat. It's great to have hot dogs. And that is a good looking dog. That's All right. right. If you all want the recipe, you can go to our website, myfoxdfw.com, click on the Good Day section, and we'll have the recipe for you right there. Kyle, thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back.